Hey folks, this is Adam from RailsAutoScale.com and I want to show you how to use the new worker autoscaling feature in Rails Autoscale. Now I have a little demo app that I'm going to use for this. It already has Rails Autoscale installed. So to get started, I'm going to launch the Rails Autoscale dashboard. That's going to take us to our web dynos view. You'll notice a new nav bar up top showing web, worker dynos, and settings. I'm going to click worker dynos to get started with this. This takes us to the settings page where it'll walk you through setting up worker dyno autoscaling. What we're going to see here is every process that I've defined in my proc file. Let's configure autoscaling on our worker dyno process type. And now we are ready to set up autoscaling on this worker dyno. We have some options here. The first thing we need to choose is which job queues do we want to monitor for auto scaling. Now, in my case, reports are handled by a separate process entirely, and my low priority jobs, I don't care if those take some extra time, I don't want those to trigger auto scaling, but my default and high jobs, I want those to process quickly, so we're going to monitor those for auto scaling. And let's go ahead and save that change. All right, let's check out our worker dashboard. And we definitely have some jobs sitting in queue for quite a while, upwards of 140 seconds. One dyno is not cutting it right now. Let's get some auto scaling going. Bring that down to a manageable level. So I toggled the auto scaling enabled little switch there. I'm going to give us a range of one to three. And while we wait for that to kick in, I want to take a look at this auto scale additional worker dynos button. In this case, I have a report worker, uh, which is running separately to handle the reports queue. And I can click configure auto scaling on this. And now I have two separate worker dyno processes here completely independently configurable. Now this report worker dynos it only handles the reports queue, so I'm going to update that accordingly. Now, I don't actually want to auto scale that right now, but this kind of shows how much um, control you have here. And it can be really powerful when you have different job queues um, with different sort of work patterns. Let's take a peek now back at our worker dyno dashboard. And we can see that we did scale up to two dynos quickly brought that job queue under control. Let's hop over to Sidekick to verify that. Yeah, our latency is down to zero. Nothing is sitting in queue anymore. We're in good shape. So that is a quick tour of worker auto scaling in Rails Auto Scale. If you haven't installed Rails Auto Scale yet for your Heroku app, go over to railsautoscale.com. It'll only take a minute. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.